Hello children, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a new lesson that is animals and their eating habits. So as soon as I say, tell you the animals, uh, you may get there are plenty of pictures in front of your eyes. That is number of animals you are going to recall, and even um, you you can see you can see the differences between the animals. How the animals are uh, different from each other in their size, shape, color, the length, isn't it? How the snake is, how the monkey is, how the deer is, how the uh, lion is, how the tiger is, how the dog is. They all are different. Different in their color, different in their size. One is small, one is so big. See the size of the ant, very small. See the size of the elephant, very big. Um, uh, even they are different in their size, length and the color. How they are different in these all things? Even they are different in their eating habits also. If I tell you animals, animals means not only the tiger, lion, cat, dog, elephant, even the birds, insects and the animals which will live under the water, in the air, on the tree and even we are human beings, we all will come in a one, one group. We all are called as uh, animals and we have the different eating habits. Uh, for example, humans have different eating habits, uh, dog has a different eating habits. But uh, in the group of all the animals, we have divided into mainly three types of different uh, groups of animals depending upon their eating habits. For example, what are those uh, three types? One is known as herbivorous. Second one is carnivorous and the third one is omnivorous. Herbivorous means there are the animals, the animals on this earth which eat only the plants, only the plants and the plant products. Those all are called as herbivorous animals. For example, rabbit, horse, elephant, bear, deer, cow, etc. These all animals are going to eat only the plants and the plant products. That may be the, if the small grass is there, small plants are there, they, these animals will eat whole uh, plant or some, uh, they will eat, some animals will eat, eat, eat only the leaf of the plant and some animals will eat uh, the birds and all, they will eat, they will not eat um, any leaf or any stem. They will eat only the fruits, isn't it? So like this they will eat either vegetable, fruit, leaf, stem, roots or whole plant. Elephant. Elephant will eat whole sugar cane uh, plant only. Isn't it? So like this they are eating plants and the plant products. Those all ca called as herbivorous animals. Then which is next one? So other than eating plants there, uh, there are some animals, a group of animals are there. Those we are going to eat the flesh and the meat of the other animals. See, um, tiger, lion, leopard and the foxes, what they will do, as soon as they get hungry, they are going to, uh, going for a hunt, hunting. They will search another one uh, uh, animal, they will chase the animal and they will kill the animal. After killing, they are going to separate the uh, skin of the animal and they will eat the meat or flesh of the animal. These animals will not eat the plants or any plant products. They will eat only the meat of the other animal and the flesh of the other animal. Then like this animals are called as carnivorous animals. Then um, for example, tiger, lion, leopard, foxes and the dog, these all will come in this group. Then uh, even for eating the plants, these rabbit have a very sharp uh, uh, teeth. So it is going to eat the hardest part of the plant that is it is going to eat the carrot or it is going to eat the, some other uh, vegetable which is sweet and which is hardest part of the plant. And um, um, this elephant also is going to eat the sugar cane that is hardest part of the plant and it is going to eat the banana plant which is whole plant is very hardest and it will eat the whole plant only. Then these type of animals have the wide and the very strong teeth. How we are having the uh, teeth. Then in the same way these have the wide and the strong teeth. So that they, the teeth can help to 
in the helping in the chewing of the food and uh, mixing of the food and even grinding of the food but this type of animals even these have the teeth but these have very sharp teeth here so can they can tear the skin of the other animal and they can uh, suck the skin of the and the meat inside the animals so those teeth are going teeth are going to help these animals to uh, chewing or to the uh, taking inside of the mouth see here in this video we have discussed about herbivorous carnivorous those are two types of the animals then what are herbivorous and the example and what are carnivorous and the example then the third type of um, animal group is omnivorous okay so omnivorous and the further information we will discuss in the next uh, video but uh, in this video i am going to end this video by this information but before ending this one i would like to give you some homework that is uh, <clears throat> you have to write the definition for herbivorous and the carnivorous write down the first question is what are herbivorous give example the second question is what are carnivorous and you examples you have to give uh, minimum five examples for this and five examples for this and don't give whatever i have written don't, don't copy these only you have to go for finding new names of the animals i hope you will do this homework in the next video we will go for a next one bye bye